From Proverbs 3, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence. The Lord is what? The Lord shall be thy confidence. We don't fear nothing, man. Because the Lord is our confidence. The Lord is our... Hey, you believe in the Lord, man? Come here, man. You don't believe in the Lord, man. You don't believe in the Lord, man. Come and listen, man. No, I'm not going to hurry, man. Why are you drinking? This is a dark body herd, man. Right? 
So at the end of the day, that's the big red dog. Yeah, yeah, but prefer the red dog. See that? Right? Because at the end of the day, man, you feel like you say you can deal with it as how you feel, as how you bleed. Yeah, I'm sure you say, yo, I don't saw this thing go, man. Sister, one military time, sister. Sister, hello, sister. We you know what you're here, not child. Sister, is that your boyfriend? Is that your boyfriend? Oh, make sure it's not your boyfriend. Right? Look here, sister, two military time, military time, man. Alright, let me show you one scripture. Give me the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Listen to this, sister. I know you're going, but. Sorry, I'm going this way. I've seen you in Catford. I've listened to you guys, actually. Yeah, who are we? David Chandler. I've got the name that I, I know you. I have, I'm subscribed to your channel, actually, on YouTube. What, okay, so what we named you? I can't remember, but I've seen you. I've seen you in Catford. Okay, all right. Sister. You're in Catford, are you? Yeah, yeah, we used to be in there. Okay, sister, no problem. We don't want to share something with you, but you know the last Don't make a marriage with a brain. Deuteronomy 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriage with them, thy daughter. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So the Lord said, We shall not take daughters from the other nation as men, and our sisters shall not go with the other nations, right? Because they are a people where the Lord now deal with, read. Verse four, for they will turn away thy son from following me. And at least I want to happen to our people, because these people will turn away the daughter and the sons of Zion from following the Lord. Come again. There are two scriptures here. You have a church, no pastor. Right? The Lord said, that they may serve other gods, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. So you see, the anger of the heavenly Father. When you hear, when you hear about the heavenly Father, when you hear about the Lord, come here, somebody. When you hear about the heavenly Father, when you hear about him, he loves you. This is the book of Romans 9 verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. Jacob of my love. But Esau of I hate him. Man, look how we have run away. <laughs> the Lord said, as it's written, Jacob of I love, and Esau of I hate him. But brother said, the Lord does not deal with love. Right? But the Lord said, as it is written, Jacob of I love, and Esau of I hate him. So Esau and children, them down here walking around in our kind of dark. The Lord don't like them. And the reason why they have dark, because dark is our, is our next demon. Right? So demon love demon. If you want to heal a mighty nice, fight a dog. Then kiss that dog day and night. Every minute in the body, he goes like this. Right? Because what? They find him so mean. Because he's a demon. So that's why the demon them love dog. Right? Don't get me wrong, you know. When we die out, we have my dog outside. I want to get to What do you want to say to him? I'm back from the house. Right? Yo, okay. Yo, okay. Yo, you know so not keep there. You know so not keep there. Come in, man. Come in, man. Come in, man. Come in, show us up, man. Come in, come on, show us up. Everybody said them coming. I ain't never seen them. Right? Right. But we have merged the power better than them because, yo, some of them get some. You know? But at the same time, man, yo. We well, want to show people and say, yo, them are king that hurt, man. And suck back, man. Give me lamentation. You have something? Give me lamentation. Five and sixteen. Right? We want to show brother them say them are king that hurt, man. Lamentation. Five, verse sixteen. The crown is fallen from our head. Yo, yo, look at you. Do you feel pain? Lamentation 5 verse 16. The crown is fallen from our head. The crown is fallen from our head. 
crowd jump off our head, man. Three. Woe unto us that we have seen. That's why we don't know what we are thinking of the earth. Because the crowd fall off our head, man. Why? So Lord said, destruction unto us because we sin. And that's why we sin, and that's why the crowd fell off our head. Right? So children of Israel, come and put it back on. What do you mean, sir? Sir? You know the crowd fall off of your head, and that's why you're here. Eh? We have to put back the crown for our head, man. So we can go back in our authority. Right? And tell people what we do. And tell people what they can do. Right? That's it, eh? So at the end of the day, man, yo, the crown fall off of your head. But at the same time, there is a way for us to rehearse and come back to the end of the fire. He's um, our boy. Where am I, sir? What are we doing? Come, let me tell you what we're doing, man. <laughs> Come, man. Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah, come, let me tell you what we're doing, man. You stay there, man, to show you what we're doing. Yeah, we're talking about the Bible. This is what we're doing. You believe in the Bible? Okay. Now, basically, this is our okay. This is our objective. I read the Bible. Isaiah. No, this is anyone. No one. 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 And you believe that the Bible? Alright, something happened in the Bible, we're going to show you what happened. So you can get some understanding. Isaiah 49, verse 2. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his, his hands has he hit me. So the Lord said, Make our mouth like a sharp sword. And in the shadow of his hands, he hit us. And made me a polished shaft. And no we not the heavenly father like a sword and his. Right? So now, give me the book of, um, give me the book of, here must chapter 1 and start at 11, right? Because something happened in life, right now, we, we know who we are. Who are we? We are flesh and blood. But we, every one of our biblical nationality, read this. This is the book of Amos 1 verse 11. Thus says the Lord. For three transgression of Edom. So three transgression. I you know what transgression means. What transgression means? Sin. Transgression means sin. For three transgression of Edom. And two, your biblical nationality, your Edom. Three. And for four, I will, I will not turn away. The punishment thereof. So there's a punishment coming for Edom. He said the people who are Edomites. He said he's not going to turn away the punishment thereof. Read. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. You know what that means? Edom pursue his brother with the sword. So Edom represents the Esau. Esau pursued Jacob with the sword. Read. And this cast off all pity. And what did? And this cast off all pity. And it did cast off all pity. That simply means that in the act, no love for Jacob. We are the children of Jacob, and you are the children of Edom. Give it a second. And his anger did tear perpetually. When the Lord said? Perpetually. What perpetually means? Eh? Perpetually. Perpetually, perpetually, which means perpetually means everlasting anger. He not turn it away, right? Read that. Ezekiel. And he kept his rod forever. And he kept his rod forever. Verse 35 and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. You see him here, so Perpetual hatred. And has shed. The blood of the children of Israel. Wait, no. And have shed the blood of the children of Israel. This is who we 
to do this. So, voila, and why make a covenant so that they didn't get a law to confirm with the children of Israel. So the law that said, first, read it on MPI. Romans chapter 27 verse 26. First be he that confirmeth. What well, confirm it means? Confirm it. That do it. If you're not doing, you have to first read and confirm it. Not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say amen. So all the people said amen. That simply means we agree to do all of these laws. No, we have to read. Yes, sister, that's a very good question. No, no, we are going to read to you what happened unto us, so we know that we, Moses was talking to. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and start at uh, 32. This right? is Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, who this happened to, sister? Our sons and our daughters give it unto another people. Who said that people is happening? This is your history. Our sons and our daughters give it unto another people. This is still right. right. So this is the about slavery. Right. Slowly but surely, you're catching up on it. Lots of sons and daughters are giving to another people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. And shall be, and there shall be no might in thy hand. So we couldn't stop it. Let's see if they are. They want food. Let's see. What they do? We kiss. Let's take a kiss here and go with kissing. And the father, only thing he could have done about. That's a kissing. They took kissing. He couldn't stop it. And every time kiss go back, I look for the grave. Because he never see him again alive. Right? No, sister, this happened to us. But we have a very big picture. Give me 60 years. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So how did we go to Trinidad? Our four ancestors. Eh? What transportation? What did you just read? Read that again, sir. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. So Egypt synonymous with bondage. So when they hear the word Egypt, what bondage? Bondage. Slavery. No, read it. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So Egypt synonymous with what? Bondage. So you see that the Bible tells us that Egypt means bondage. So the Lord says, in bring us into slavery again with ships. Because this is the way my four parents went to Jamaica. This is the way your four parents went to Trinidad. Some of us four parents went to St. Lucia, Barbados, Guyana, all over the place. So these are the people who Moses was talking to. Said if you don't confirm these laws, when the heavenly father gave unto us, these things gonna happen unto us gonna be a curse. Right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But if but it shall come to pass, it shall happen if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So hearken me listen. It's a whole word to listen. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is what we are reading here when you to come to Victoria 28 again. Jesus is the curse that overtake us. And right now, the curse still depart us. Now we do not go to the earth. We walk in our own town and our self, Dominica, Trinidad, West India, Barbados. These are landmarks. We are better than that. We are a people. With morals, there are people with a will supposed to walk unto the heavenly Father. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. So we know that Egypt being bandaged with ship. So we got children, we got Jamaica. Read. By the way, whereof 
I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So the Lord used to speak to us when we was living in the land of Israel. No, we're not living in Israel no more. Because the Lord said, we never see it again. Oh, we know so we need to live in Israel. Because yo, 
then traumatize all kind of things about you them and then you why these things are happening. But then you come back to the understanding. We are going to give you the understanding. And not we, the Heavenly Father are going to give you the understanding why your life is so hard. Because when Christ was here, he was suffering all affliction. And if Christ suffered different affliction, we, his chosen people, are going to suffer it as well. Because I try my trials to see who is worthy to be saved and delivered from this evil building. Or who is gonna not worthy. Right? Right. We said who's gonna join this evil. And you know what I'm joining with them? You have your beautiful daughter, and you know you have your husband. You can start and come to the heavenly father we have life. And if you don't know, sister, as we said, you find the channel and heal them. Of living water. 
Two minutes at a time. Two minutes at a time. Huh? Oh, you just want to listen to the word. What is that? No English? No English. Hello, sister. Hello. Two minutes. Right, so the Lord said, he that believe that I leave it and him as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right? And we have the rivers of living water. You know the scripture, man. If you believe on the scripture as it is written, right? You go get more understanding, man. Hello, sir. Come here, man. Get back. Right. So the Lord said, Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And yo, the rivers of living water shall flow upon them. Right? Amen, sir. Alright, we are going to eat lunch now. People never work from, you know, sun up to sun down. Hard work for the Lord, I hold it here. And we're not supposed to work on the Sabbath, man. We're supposed to take it easy and rest. And call up on Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai. Right. And glorify his name, man. While we're running here, run up and up the Esau, man. And I enhance the kingdom. Like we don't want to crash. Man, we don't want to go slow and work, you know. And pick your man that didn't know about it. You want to see me no time. And watch your deal. The hours are tick off. Tick off. I want to work on already. <laughs> go slow. I don't know when people are not going fast and go well, like said, if they want the little hours to run out and, you know, the little yeah. happenings to come in and, you know, go eat some food and build back. Right? Go in, go in. Book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 1. Away, away. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. Come back to righteousness, children of Israel. The scriptures say, awake, awake, man. Put on thy beautiful garments. Right? Excuse me. Way back, brother. Awake, awake, put on thy beautiful garments, man. 